Right, now I've got these last three buckets of Satanta left to empty and weigh. Uh, for, the, for the record, I'm going to record it all and not be particularly enjoyable, but at least it's a record of the actual harvest. So, what I've done now is I've um, muted the background video so that I can talk over it and present to you my findings for this year. All the composts have been used in the same volumes in these 30 litre buckets. They've all got um, bracken as a mulch on the top which is mainly aimed at suppressing moisture loss and they all got holes in the bottom to allow the crop to escape into whatever soil they're paper placed on. The six different varieties that I've used this year are all made by myself except for the horse manure. The horse manure was stored from three years ago. Uh, it's been protected by the weather so there's no nutrient loss. But all the other five are made from plant-based sources and have very different mixes because I'm trying to find which works best. It's just a silly experiment that I like doing and I want to find out which mixture and blend of materials and, and um, processes will give me the best results overall. Now then, the base compost is usually the same. Mostly grass with large amounts of bracken to provide the carbon. Uh, shredded paper and card of course but I'm trying to reduce that amount whatsoever and then the rest is all weeds which is extremely variable um, the amount of weed content within a compost it will depend completely on what I can get at the time but it's all roughly the same by volume as the base material okay so um, I have use this process to make the four other different varieties the first one was the base compost and then liquid fed with a mixture of uh, two mixes of nettles liquid nettles and then fed with comfrey therein until harvest um, my own mixes that work well on other crops um, the base with seaweed is 50-50 by volume of the base and mainly kelp seaweed in late autumn. The comfrey mix is repeated layers of green comfrey that are applied during the previous summer. And then my best mix, which is the worm compost. That is the base compost, mix of green waste so it gets a high volume of decaying matter and then worms allowed to infiltrate and um, uh, populate the the actual compost itself that's that's a quite normal process i know but that i then go on to feed the the worms in particular with kitchen scraps and all the waste as you would do normally with worm vermi composting but um that has really worked well for me on other crops beforehand so that is of significant value to me and it's my favorite compost that i'm hoping will come out on top of course um and we'll have to see right and so a little confession um the crop of maris piper in particular were blight affected i had to chop the foliage down early and stop the test but they're all done at the same time for easy comparison. This leads me on to the surprise results. Um, the top three results is more or less in, in line with my expectations. The base compost results have, has blown me away. I, I am very, very surprised at how high it is. Um, a little bit disappointed actually because 
going by these results, I don't see the point of, of adding the extra seaweed, the comfrey and the worm finishing to get the marginal gains that you see there. But there we go, it's, um, it is what it is, it's results. I shall repeat this next year because I'm sure that was a, I'm sure that's a fluke. In previous years tests, this wasn't the case. <laughs> um, the base compost produced lower yield and the seaweed comfrey and worm finished composts have been noticeably better. So um, this test does come as a moderate surprise, but it's, it's pleasing because at the end of the day, it's, we're, I'm trying to find out facts, not just living in uh, fairyland. Um, I believe that repeated tests will lead me to a conclusion over the years that I can rely on. In the meantime, this is this year's results. The other surprise that I had was the base with liquid compre feed. Now then, I say it's the base mix. It was a slightly lesser mix. It didn't feel quite right. There was there was more lumps. It was less decomposed. I thought it had a lot more browns in. But what what I wanted to use that mix for was to show you how really good the liquid comfrey feed is. <laughs> and that's backfired on me because, um, unfortunately one bucket got hit by blight. Um, the Carolus, the only one that's got completely devastated, um, lost the whole bucket, so I can't compare that. But you see how low the, the other two are. Um, I used two applications of liquid nettle feed and then I think it was about four applications of liquid comfrey feed. Normally that would, I would feel confident that would boost up the, up the results significantly and it would compete with the other composts. And it isn't the case. It was a mild failure actually, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I'm gonna repeat this, that particular test again next year because um, I don't like the result. <laughs> I was expecting far better. Um, and I, I, I'm failing to be able to explain why it didn't work so well. On the other hand, there, there is a result at the end where I, uh, by the way, on that video there, I'm sniffing the tuber because I'm just, just making sure that it is the seed tuber. The seed tuber has a, a quite a sort of sweet smell to it um, whereas um, a blood infected tuber it stinks it's quite different now then I had the opportunity of doing a different trial as well I had a piece of land that was uh, adjacent to my plots um, and I was able to uh, put a normal row of traditionally grown chemically fed uh, exactly the same varieties down instead of the way I normally harvest just for comparison against. Um, there is a slight problem with this in, in as much as that this particular crop did not get blight. So even though that I chopped the foliage down um, at the same time as the others to, to try and even out I would suggest that the Maris Piper really did gain from a couple more weeks of the foliage not being hit by blight. Um, it's a good indication that how bad blight does affect it before it even shows significantly on the plant. So the yield is, is, is comparable because each spacing took up twice the amount of volume meterage as a container. So it, it's it's a comparable to a, a, um, the yield in the containers themselves. Obviously you use up twice as much tubers, seed tubers in the containers, but that's, I, I don't think that's really a problem. It's always the square meterage that we're after for comparison. And as you see, the traditional ways of growing didn't work as well as the um, 
as the container room with the varying compost, although it beat it, it did beat the um, the base with comfrey feed and the horse manure. Now then, I have a, a second test that I did um, that was separate to the yields that you've seen already. It's actually the, the harvest that I'm, foot, I'm recording in the background is actually part of this yield. Now the, what I did was I used compost from 2020 that was used to grow potatoes, that in 2021 I used to grow carrots um, so that we can get a build up of pests. Uh, carrots in containers by the way you know so that the compost stayed fine but of course the nutrients are completely gone then i recomposted it with 50 50 with um, seaweed um, and these results are expected but i didn't realize it would be so significantly um, the verdict would be so significant so same compost in each of these three variations here. Now then, I'll start at the, the lowest amount, which is the, the potato fertilizer. This was bought potato fertilizer, um, commercial stuff that is formulated specifically for potato growth. It was used on the traditional um, uh, grown potatoes that I showed you in the last clip um, but it, it really hit the yields in, in these containers um, I'll discuss why in a, in a little while um, or what I think why the bloodfish and bone again hit the results and the only compost that really worked well was the compost without any fertilizer whatsoever now these were second early's and well there is a second a mix of second early's and main crop so it's not a correct comparison to the previous table of yields that i supplied so let's let's just keep those amounts separate because second early's were planted before so before the blight hit they had a chance to significantly bulk up ahead of the main crop potatoes okay and just for the record the this particular crop of potatoes can't be compared to the first lot because these were um, second potatoes and main crop and were grown on a different plot than the other ones so the yields were not affected by blight anywhere near as bad um, I took off the foliage before it, it got hold of and the Kester and Charlotte were planted before the other plants so they, it, the two results can't be compared but here we see how much better the seaweed fed compost is and my conclusion is that it's all to do with the amount of foliage earlier on the fertilizers feed the foliage the foliage can't necessarily support the volume of tubers and it actually works against the actual yields themselves that's my theory anybody with a, a different theory can you comment below and let let me know your thoughts um blight isn't an issue with this particular crop because the the growers around me didn't have blight or took the foliage off well in advance each were measured as you can see there with the same plastic bags so there's no volume difference um, I'd, I've tried to level out every single result I can possibly imagine as I've gone along um, and I've noted it all down as I've gone so that <laughs> I've tried to eliminate the ability to have mistakes or variations each were watered at the same time same amounts of, of water everything i try to keep everything equal so that we could actually have a, a good comparison uh, just to give some up once again here's a, a visual representation of the chemical fertilizer on the left blood fish and bone on, in the middle and the compost only on the right hand side
Thank you very much for viewing my vlog. Hopefully you find the results interesting. If you've got any questions, please ask me below. I'll do my best to answer them. But as I said, there's some results here that I can't necessarily explain. Thank you very much. Goodbye.